Here I want to talk about auxiliary views, auxiliary views. And what I actually want to do here is how you can draw the auxiliary elevation and auxiliary plan when you are given the front view and the top view or the plan of an object. So here we have the front view and this is the plan of the object. So I'm going to show you how you withdraw the auxiliary elevation and how you also draw the auxiliary plan. Now, the most important thing that you need to take note of, which you will be informed as an instruction to follow in the question. If you are having a question that has to do with the construction of auxiliary views, is that you will be told about the direction of an arrow as we have here that this arrow is inclined at an angle 30 degree to the horizontal so we are to produce the auxiliary elevation in the direction of this arrow so what we need to do now if we are to produce the auxiliary elevation we have to produce line from each point on the plan if we are producing auxiliary elevation so to make the work simple and easier and well understood i have produced the isometric view of the object so this is the isometric view of the object this is the front view what we have here is the front view and this is the top view so the front view that we have here is this shape that we have here and then the top view which is all the plan is what we have here so let me show you what we have here this line is this line that we have here this straight line that we have here is this line and this line is this line that we have here this line is what we have here and this line is what we have here that is the front elevation and for the plan so this line is here this line is here and this line is here and this line with this line is this straight line that we have here this line with this line is this straight line that we have here okay so to produce the auxiliary elevation as i said that you need to produce line from each point on this plan and then you have to make use of the direction of the arrow the angle to which the arrow is inclined which is angle 30. so in this case you have to make use of your 30 degree set square to produce line from each point on this plan so this is how it goes so from this point produce a straight line like this okay also from this point here project a straight line so from this point project a straight line like this so from this point project a straight line also from here project a straight line so from this point produce a straight line like this so all these lines are parallel to this arrow so the next thing that you need to do is that you move away from the given view or from the given views just move away a little bit like this okay so just move away then draw a line that will be perpendicular to each of this line and that line should be drawn with the 30 the 60 degree side of your cell square so this is the line so it goes like this okay so having done this so the next thing that you need to do as i said that i want to make it well understood so that is the purpose of making this sketch now looking at this object in this direction i will see this line i will see this line I will see this line from here to here and let me also put the arrow on this drawing so from here okay so now looking at this object in this direction i will see this straight line i will see this straight line and also i will see this line i will see this straight line and i will see this line i will see this line and i will see this line and i will also see this line so let's take it one by one so for this line that we have here for this line that we have here, 
so this is if you look at it if you look at this line that we have here so for this line that we have here so this is the distance the distance from here to here so which is if you look at it we trace it down from here to here this is it so what you need to do is that you follow this line like this you follow this line like this so you have this point here and then this point which is for this end so you follow this line so you have this point so take note of this point then now as i said that if i'm looking at it in the direction i will also see this line i will see this line here so for this line that we have here for this line that we have here so which is the distance from here to here so you follow this line which is also here as we are for the previous one and then you follow this one so we have this so all this will give you straight lines so what i'm saying is this so here you just draw a straight line like this okay so you draw a straight line like this okay so the next thing that you want to do is that we want to locate want to on this line that we have here on this line that we have here this straight line that we have here which is this line starting from this point so we want to locate this point this height starting from here on this line so what you need to do is that you take your compass take your compass and take this distance from here to here take this distance from here to here put it at this point here and you make an arc on this line so you make an arc on this line now if you look at this shape that we have here if you look at this shape that, that we have here so it is the distance from here to here as we have it from here to here so the distance from here to here so in this case what you need to do is that so you take your cell square so you take your cell square that is the 60 degree side and you follow this line like this and you follow this line so you take the measurement from here so you join it with this okay so that is the height okay all right so the next thing that i want to do is that let's get this distance from here to here the distance from here to here let's get it this time from here to here so this time from here to here so what you need to do is that so you take your compass put at this point and take this distance from here to here then if you look at the end here you follow this line here and you come to this point make an arc here make an arc here so if you look at this line if you look at this this line look at this line so if you look at this line so from here to here it ends here from here to here it ends here so what we need to do is that this is the line this is the point here so i'll just take it so i'll take it from here so i'll take it from here so from this point i will take it so and then going in this direction going this direction it ends where it will end here so i will take my Okay. All right. So it will end. It will end here. This is where it will end. So I will take my and draw a straight line from here. Okay. So it will end there. So I'll draw a straight line from here. And then for this, so I will make this. I will make it tick like this. Okay, and this also will be made tick. All right. Now the next thing that I want to do is that this line that I drew here is this line that we have here. 
So what about this line? What about this line that we have here, which is at this point, which is at this point here? So what I need to do is to stretch this line, and this is the point from here to here. Okay. Now, so after doing this, the next thing that you need to do is that this point, I will see this surface. I will see this surface, this surface here, I will see it. So where is it found? It is from here to here, from here to here. So I will trace this line. So going like this, look, it has the same height. Look at it. It has the same height with what we have done here. So what you need to do is that you follow this line. So we have this point here. And you also follow this line. So we have this point. So all you need to do is that you extend this one to that line. Extend it like this. Then, if I'm looking at it in this direction, if I'm looking at this direction, I will see this line. I will see this line. So, which is this, this, this point here, which is on this line. So, what you need to do here is to make this also to make it tick. All right. So, looking at what we have here, so what else do we need to put here? And if you are looking at it in this direction, this part will be hidden from you. This point will be hidden from you. So you need to show it hidden. And it start from here. It start from here. So what I'm saying is that, let me bring this video up, okay? The line that we have here, this line, if I take it down like this. Okay, this line is hidden from me. And it starts from down here. So it's on this point here. So I will take it from this point and show it hidden. Okay. So for the auxiliary elevation, this is what we have for the auxiliary elevation. This is what we have for the auxiliary elevation. So, um, Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is that I want to show you how you can produce the auxiliary plan. This is auxiliary elevation, so I want to show you how you can produce auxiliary plan. And before we go to that, I will I want to tell you that it will be good, it will be good if you can make a simple isometric drawing of that object. It will help you to get the work done quickly. It will help you to get the work done quickly as I've done here. So I want to show you how you can how you can produce auxiliary plan now. So for the auxiliary plan, you produce plan from each point on you produce line line from each point on the elevation. So also the angle to which the arrow is inclined is angle 30 degrees. So with 30 degrees side of your cell square, so you produce lines. Produce line from each point. So this goes like this. Then, so here we have this point. So produce line from here. So here we have this point. So produce line from here. And here, so we have this point here. This point, so produce the line, okay? And from here, so produce a line, and the last one is this point. So you produce a line, okay? With the 60 degree side of your cell square, so you just move away and you draw a line from here to here, okay? All right, so the next thing that you need to do is that you take the distance from here to here. Take distance from here to here. So put it at this point and draw an arc here. So with the 60 degree side of your cell square, 60 degree side of your cell square, so you also draw a line, join this together from here to here. And then, so if I'm looking at this object in this direction, I'm looking at this object in this direction, I will see this point. 
I will see this point, and I will see this point, I will see this point, I will see this point, but this point will be hidden from me. This point will be hidden from me. So we need to show it in the auxiliary plan. For this point that I can see, I need to make this point, I need to make this line, I need to make it thick. Okay? Then also for this, I also need to make this, I need to make it thick. Okay? And then for this one, I need to make this line. I need to make this line, I need to make it thick. But for this one that I cannot see, so I need to show it hidden here. Okay? Also, I can see this point. So I need to make this line. I need to make it thick. Then I can see this point. So this will also be made thick. So this is the auxiliary plan. This is how the auxiliary plan will look. So don't forget what I've done here. Don't, don't forget what I've done here. So for the distance from here to here, it is distance from this point. So if I call this point, if I call it A, and I call this point, I call it B. So this is A, B. So this is, so this is uh, B, and this is A. Okay, and also for a distance from here to here. So let me call this. Let me call this. Uh, let me call this PQ. So this is P, and this is Q. So a distance from here to here. So this is P, and this is Q. And distance from here to here. So let me call it RS. So this is RS. So this is R and this is S. So that's how I took it. That's how I took it. So I've shown you how you can produce the auxiliary elevation and how you can produce the auxiliary plan. So practice this, though I didn't give dimensions yet. So you can take any dimensions. You can take any dimensions. So just practice it and make sure you sketch the isometric view asymmetric view which will enable you to get the work done quickly as i've done here so make an isometric sketch of the object and that will enable you to get it done quickly so thank you very much god bless you